In this video, we will show how to use your TI-89 to solve engineering economic problems using the Flash app called Time Value of Money, Finance and the Titanium, and how to program your own. To open the Finance Flash app, go to the Apps button and either select Finance or select the Flash apps and then Finance. This menu is useful for situations when you have a pretty cash flow that consists only of present, future, and uniform payment series or annuities. In the Finance app, N is the number of periods, I% percent is the interest rate as a percent, PV is the present value, value in period zero in your cash flow, PMT is the annuity, and FV is the future value value and period N in your cash flow. PPY is the number of payments per year. CPY is the compounding periods per year. And BEGIN is the period convention. In general, both PPY and CPY would be one, and END should be the period convention. This Flash app works as a solver. Simply enter all the known information and leave one unknown value empty. To solve, place the cursor on the unknown value and press F2. For example, to solve the following problem using a 10% interest rate, use the following parameters. N is 4, I% percent is 10, PV is the variable, PMT is 100, FV is 0 because there is no FV. PPY is 1, CPY is 1, and for the period convention. And the result is negative 316 and 98. At this point, you may copy-paste the results to use it in the home menu. Clearly, this Finance Flash app is very limited, as irregular cash flows and gradients might not be considered. Therefore, we propose that you code your own economic analysis factors. Here's how it would look. Let's see how we would solve this with our custom program. Clearly, it's easier to use the custom program as you're already in the home menu. And if we complicate the problem by adding a gradient, you'll see the flexibility for yourself. To do what I just did, you start by creating a function for each factor. Go to Apps, Program Editor, New, Function, and in this case, we'll name it PF for the F given P factor. This is the required code. Now, you need to do this with all remaining factors, where each factor is a separate function. And remember that F given P is the inverse of P given F. Now we will create a custom menu so that we can access the functions easily. First, let's create a program that will add a custom menu to the home screen. In this case, we will create a new program, not a function. Now we can write the following code. You can pause here and take a screenshot. What the code is doing is creating a custom menu and simply writing the text when a menu item is selected. Let's run the code and see what happens. First, go to var link and select the program. Then close the parentheses and press enter. From now on, you can toggle the menu by clicking the custom menu. Note that the default folder in your calculator must coincide with the folder where the functions were created. 
In our case, we created the functions in the main folder, so we need to make sure that main is our default folder. To verify this, go to mode and force main as your default folder. Alternatively, you can specify the folder path of your code from your program. If you want to copy paste the formulas for the program and all the functions, you can visit this web page in the description below. Remember that you may use these functions inside the solver, for example, to obtain the IRR. Have fun with your calculator!